Hey guys, JT here with BlackBearOS.com. We have a hands-on for you today with the much anticipated Black for BlackBerry 10. Those of you that don't know, Black is a Twitter client that was first available on the playbook. Um, it quickly became one of the most popular, most downloaded apps and definitely the most popular Twitter client on the BlackBerry tablet OS. Um, and they've now made their way onto BlackBerry 10 and they're launching today. So I want to give you guys a quick look and hands-on at what features come with Black and what distinguishes this from pretty much every other Twitter client out there um, and is, in my opinion, the best uh, Twitter experience on any mobile operating system. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the active frame. Um, it actually serves a really, really cool purpose. When the app is minimized, you'll see the cool logo like this. Um, and upon receiving new tweets, you'll get a little bit of a, a little notification down here. Um, which just lets you know that you have new tweets. Same thing with mentions and same thing with DMs. Hopefully some uh, new tweets come in. That way we can uh, take a look at that. Um, the active frame kind of functions in that dual uh, use for having not only notifications but also being able to just stand by. Um, that's a perfect example right there. When you open the app You'll notice the uh, high contrast in colors between the dark background and the uh, white letters. Uh, personally, for me, I think that's one of my favorite things about the uh, about the app. It just it looks awesome. Um, you'll quickly notice at the top we have this green bar here with uh, a time frame, a timestamp, and obviously you have your current time up here at the top right corner. When you're navigating your timeline, you'll notice that the bar also moves along with it. Um, and changes time, indicating what time the tweets that came out uh, that you're looking at, at what time they came out and they were posted. A quick tap to the top right hand corner will take you back to the top of the uh, timeline. So navigating is pretty easy in terms of just how, uh, how fluid the, uh, the actual experience is. Scrolling obviously you can see is just ridiculously quick. There's no lag, there's no stopping and no stuttering and I think this is what's gonna really really make um, a great experience for a lot of people. A black also lets you uh, check out pictures uh, whether it's on Instagram or directly from Twitter directly within the timeline so you don't even have to really um, click into a, a tweet to be able to look at the content you can just pretty much uh, click on the on the picture directly. Let's see if I can find one right here so we can open it. Let's see right here. So you can see the picture pretty much opens directly. From there we can save it or choose to share it as well. Since this is built natively, um, you'll notice that the functions are very very smooth and very very similar to what we're used to on BlackBerry 10. One of the biggest distinguishing features about Black is just navigating between your timeline and your other tabs. Instead of there being any tabs on the top or in the bottom, Black actually has it on the left hand side um, and a quick swipe to the right reveals these tabs over here. It's pretty easy, very fluid. Uh, you have your compose bar compose button actually down here. This is your timeline, home tab, your mentions, DMs, uh, your tweets that have been retweeted, your lists, your favorite, and also over here we have access to your profile which lets you uh, look at all your information and cover photo and stuff. And here we have access to a search which also will double as a trend uh, you can check out the trends there and a muting feature which has been, been included in this build um, you can uh, mute hashtags Twitter handles words whatever you desire to kinda keep that off your off your timeline in terms of settings we have uh, multiple account support which is really really cool so you guys have the uh, BlackBerry OS account there if you want to navigate between two accounts right now is the maximum due to Twitter's uh, token limit that will be expanded in the future we're being told but for now it's uh, at maximum two users per uh, per app I guess you could say um, but again navigating is very very easy and even going between accounts is pretty quickly and seamless settings we have over here in the top right hand corner we have a uh, you can pick the font size 
I personally like it kind of small but if you guys choose to have a bigger font size that's totally doable as well and we have pretty good options here um, to make it easier to read you also find a an active pull uh, timer uh, obviously the less time that you have in between pulls the more uh, battery you're gonna use up so make sure you set that to a uh, smart time uh, the other cool thing with black is how uh, you interact with different tweets so for example you can obviously click into a tweet and then interact with it but you can also pull to the left and interact with it uh, before letting go you can actually go between reply retweeting favoriting and other options over here uh, so let's say I want to reply to ESPN right here that's all I would do it's pretty quickly let's say I want to retweet ESPN get a little notification right here that says retweet to your followers you can decide to do it and to enable or disable the prompt um, this is meant to prevent any accidental retweets it used to happen with older builds but uh, that prompt was there to to kind of prevent that same thing with favoriting you can kind of favorite tweets and you'll be prompted as well to favorite it one of the cool things that I really really like about black is how the compose screen works um, black is BBM connected so you can choose to add your tweet to BBM or not by just clicking the BBM button but there's also a counter much like in the uh, timeline at the top with the time the counter here indicates how many characters you have left and as you're typing hey how's everyone doing tonight you notice that the little bar down here also fills up and lets you know it's one of those little things that I think is really really cool uh, visually it stands out and it makes it easier to just see how much space you have left on all that's pretty much a basic overview of black it's available right now for $2.99 in blackberry world so if you haven't checked it out already make sure you do uh, you will definitely not regret it it is the best twitter client out there right now for any device so check it out and let us know what you think in the comments